I, I love this supplement and it does a few things. So phosphatidylserine, first of all, it's a natural nutrient that you find a lot of in your brain anyway. And um, it's very good for all cognitive functions. Mm. So in a lot of studies, and they've done quite a lot of studies with this, it improves pretty much all cognitive functions. So your focus, your concentration, memory. So even for people with, with dementia, a lot of the studies are showing positive effects. But the other effect of phosphatidylserine is that it reduces cortisol, your stress hormone, by over 30%, like a considerable hmm. amount. Um, so why would you take it or what, what are the use cases? So I take it um, if I want to improve my focus and concentration and memory and also reduce stress at the same time. So for instance, if you're studying and you're going for an exam or something mm. like that, brilliant for that. Mm. Um, also in the evening time, you know, especially if you're finding you're under stress or whatever, and you find that you're not sleeping that well, mm. reducing cortisol is going to help you sleep much better at nighttime. That's amazing. Well, let me ask you this. So I feel like cortisol is like, you know, the big scary hormone that everyone talks about and it's only bad, but obviously like cortisol is very important oh, and yeah. it has a lot of <laughs> very important functions in the body. Mm. So how much should we be trying to negate it? And, you know, at what point are we taking away too much? Do you have yeah. any idea there of... Yeah, so cortisol, um, the way it works is is you should have a good rise in the morning, the morning time. So it kind of comes up in the morning, it'll kind of peak mid-morning, then it kind of drops, but then you get another little boost in the afternoon and then it should drop down a lot in the evening. Mm. So it's all about making sure that that's correct and there's cortisol, cortisone, um, and you want that whole kind of system to be very well balanced. Mm. That's all in the realm of, and again, another podcast yeah. all about stress and circadian rhythm, because mm -hmm. uh, it's all to do with what's called the HPA axis. Mm -hmm. the hypothalamus pituitary axis. So that's really important as well. Um, so cortisol, it's, yeah, you don't want to, you know, it's like if you, you excess don't cortisol. don't want to get rid of all of it. No, yeah. no, no. Like cortisol gives you energy. So yes. if you don't have cortisol, it wakes oh, you wow, up in the morning. You'll just be asleep all day. You yeah. just have no energy. So yeah, it's, it's like kind of like insulin. It's a two-edged sword. There's a lot of positive. But the problem is on average, most people have, have too excess. much. Mm -hmm. like with insulin and the same with cortisol. So mm -hmm. if you're under a lot of stress um, from different things, it can be stress in your life, but it can also just be stress like bad circadian rhythm and, mm -hmm. and all these other factors. Uh, again, It's kind of one of those things where if you have too much, you'll probably know, you'll feel it. Yeah, yeah. So if you're trouble like winding down in the evening and, and getting to sleep, for instance, mm. you could have elevated cortisol in the evening time. Yeah. And that can prevent you from sleeping properly. So. Mm. Uh, that can be very, very beneficial. So I, I love that. It's also great to take before you work out because I find when you take it before you work out, because again, when you exercise, you do produce cortisol. Yep. And again, if it's excess cortisol, does cause muscle wastage. Mm. So if you want to hold on to that muscle tissue, and uh, making sure you don't spike too much cortisol. I imagine, especially for a longer duration workout, that could be really beneficial. Yeah, yeah. So that. That, you know, that's really good along with the focus and concentration. So that's something that I do take. Um, I, I don't take it particularly in any particular way. I just sort of take it as I need it, you mm -hmm. know. So I might just take, you know, two or three capsules uh, before I work out or in the evening time if I, you know, for a long stressful day or something and I want to wind down and really relax and get to, get to sleep early, mm -hmm. I might take it. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. the reason that 